Hello, Prof. Welcome to my presentation on my term paper. The topic is task offloading optimization in order to achieve a more seamless future for Internet of Vehicles, aka IOV. First, I'll discuss IOV challenges and our proposed dynamic task offloading system using deep reinforcement learning for enhanced efficiency. Next, we'll compare IOV task offloading strategies. Then, I'll introduce the proposed solution. Finally, I'll touch upon limitations and future directions. The Internet of Vehicles faces resource challenges, prompting the use of deep reinforcement learning, aka DRL, adapts to constraints, offering an innovative IOV task offloading solution. This paper introduces a specialized DRL system, optimizing IOV operations. It showcases DRL's efficiency set to transform connected vehicles. The key challenges in the Internet of Vehicles include managing constrained resources like computing power, addressing stringent network demands, additionally handling vast data volumes, adapting to dynamic environments, and balancing efficiency with constraints pose significant obstacles in IOV system. DRL extends to an offloading system tailored for IOV scenarios featuring multiple multiple mobile edge computing, aka MAC servers. This system uses the advantages offered by DRL, enabling efficient task allocation and processing in dynamic IOV environments. As we can see here, with, with the help of cloud platforms and edge computing, the offloading system could achieve quick real-time response, smart application local deployment, vehicle local management, and local filtering of data fusion information. All these contributes to the seamless connectivity of the IOV. In our comparative analysis, we have three task offloading strategies within the IOV, all local, standard OMAC, and DRL-based OMAC. Each method has its distinct advantages and limitations. The comparison between all local and all MAC strategies highlights their distinct advantages. All local emphasizes onboard processing for vehicle autonomy, enabling functions without external connectivity. Conversely, all MAC uses nearby resources like all MAC servers uh, for faster data processing, ideal for real time applications. While all local ensures autonomy, it may struggle with complex tasks, whereas all MAC optimizes resources by offloading tasks selectively, meeting latency needs, and improving responsiveness. Factors like computing power and data privacy will also influence a strategy choice. The DRL OMAC excels over the standard OMAC in IOV. It identifies multiple MAC servers, efficiently allocates computing power, and optimizes task processing. This adaption ensures efficient operations as data demands increase. This figure illustrates the DR process, DRL process. It gathers environment information, calculates the reward function, and exploits actor-critic neural networks. Strategies are generated and combined with the environmental data, making choices for task offloading. After numerous episodes, the model determines the best server or node for task offloading. Then we'll do a case study to see the improvement brought by DRL-based task offloading strategy. We'll go from example analysis to the setup model and analyze, analyze it. The architecture describes IOV's layered task offloading for collaborative computing. Upon a task request, it systematically selects a available server from three layers, edge node service, edge service center, and cloud service station. This process optimizes task execution, accounting for factors like latency, node capacities, link availability, and system flow control. A comprehensive task offloading example detailing this mechanism is provided in my term paper. In this IOV simulation, the model includes servers and vehicles within a specific surface area, considering tasks, available computational resources, and offloading methods. Key constraints ensure tasks are offloaded to a single server or executed locally. For detailed equations and constraints, please refer to the term paper, given the time constraints here. In a dynamic environment of IOV, resource allocation is a non-convex optimization problem with multiple constraints. This is an NP-hard problem. DRL has great capabilities of recognizing dynamic challenges and uh, this is the reason why we choose it. This figure illustrates the DRL algorithm, which each update reward function will help us improve our resource allocation and task offloading strategy. Ultimately, we'll reach the optimal strategy. The performance analysis revealed that DRL OMAC outperforms the standard strategy with fewer tasks, but particularly excels under heavy task loads, significantly reducing uh, completion time. It ensures stable connections even with larger vehicle sets, mitigating flow control issues and displaying lower system loads, offering improved scalability and reduced crash pro possibilities. Additionally, uh, DRL OMAC significantly enhances response time, promoting seamless vehicle connectivity and contributing to the enhanced security while mitigating traffic congestion to some extent. In conclusion, discussing limitations, the research faces computational demands and relies heavily on real-time data in ILV. Future directions include improving computational efficiency, augmenting adaptability, and exploring federated learning. Summarizing, our study highlights how deep reinforcement learning enhances IOV task offloading, reducing delays and boosting energy efficiency. Despite the challenges, ongoing research aims to refine DRL algorithms and explore advanced optimization for connected and intelligent IOV. Thank you for your time.